Welcome to module four, where we're going to be talking about different trading strategies, starting you off with volume trading. Now, what volume trading is, is it's one of the best ways to determine how much money is moving in and out of that security in a given day as compared to the average figure. Let me elaborate. When you gauge the money flow, this can give you an idea of supply versus demand, which will also in turn help you predict price action. So checking out my screen here, what volume shows us with those indicators at the bottom there is that higher volume implies higher interest in the security. So volume is up, that means there are a lot more people trading that given security in that day. But this does not imply which direction necessarily that it's going, it just implies the interest. So whether it's positive or negative sentiment, all you know is that it implies that there's going to be potential movement in a given direction just due to all of the trading that's going on. As you can see in the second picture here, there's a yellow line at the bottom where the volume bars are. Now, that's what I have marked as the average volume for the day because these are going to be day candlesticks, so are these volume bars. So if you can see that that yellow line indicates the average volume for most of the days, anything above that is going to be above average, and that's going to tell you whether or not it's going to be a moving type of day or if it's going to be pretty stagnant, maybe staying the same price. Mixing together a couple of the different tips I've shown you throughout this curriculum already, such as our volume indicators, trend lines, and support and resistance are going to be able to help you make a more accurate decision when it comes to executing a trade. And you can reference this third picture I have here where it kind of shows how all three of those things that I just mentioned go together and it helps you decide whether it's an uptrend or a downtrend.